I was sure I was right this time. Were you one of the Queen's guards? You won't confirm or deny it, I understand. Has anyone ever told you you're really good at listening? Seriously, don't be so modest. I would stay and chat with you for hours, but I wouldn't presume to impose upon your time. Cock-a-doodle, don't! That's where that door led, and for all these years, nobody ever bothered to force it. He seems to be a bit short on energy. Hi, little robot. C1 is not programmed to talk. But you just did it. C1 is not programmed to explain itself. What if I took out your batteries? Would you still be in the mood to show such attitude? C1 is programmed to run on solar energy. Don't provoke me, or I'll hit you with a hammer. You're looking worse for wear. C1 isn't tired. C1 is running data. Why don't you turn tail in the meantime? If those two catch you, you'll end up in a box, you know that? C1 is not programmed to do it. Are you telling me you can't do two things at the same time? C1 hasn't got the updated firmware. Right, everybody says that. Beep, beep, bzz, bzz. C1 finds this really insulting. C1 has had it up to his valves with you. Come on, don't be so salty. Don't forget we applied for a Peggy 3 rating. Be careful what you say. What about the three laws of robotics? C1 thinks you've seen too many sci-fi movies. C1 could easily pierce your skull with a laser beam and use it as a bowling ball if he wanted to. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for the clarification. Good luck with your calculations. Maybe it's anti-aesthetic, but it's certainly effective. As unbelievable as this sounds, Ronald's father bought it years ago in anticipation of his own funeral. He found it on sale at a mortuary fair. He won't be happy at all when he finds out those morons have damaged it. It's the old alarm clock Ronald used when he was a small child. Didn't think he still had it. It's a hard life for hitchhikers. Zeno has always been an introverted guy, but I consider him a dear friend. I rarely saw him not holding a novel. Never seen such a passion for books. A little souvenir from Easter Island. We had some trouble at customs, but it was worth it. Legend has it that when Ronald's father is able to pull it out from the floor, it'll finally be him wearing the pants in the family. Actually, it would be useless anyway, but he doesn't know that. The trophy of a fishing trip. An unequal contest won with firecrackers and nail guns. Undoubtedly, this is the manliest thing Ronald's father has ever done. Are you familiar with Superman and Kryptonite? Right, that's nothing compared to my allergic anaphylactic shock. Surely someone could give a good cleaning around here once in a while. When Ronald moved into this house, the forensic guys had just unsealed the kitchen. When the investigation was closed, his parents decided to leave the outline of the body on the table. I have to admit that it gives an extra kick to breakfast, though. It's a big computer brain able to monitor all the household appliances to prevent domestic accidents. Calling them post-its is an understatement. They're more like threatening messages that Ronald's mother leaves for her husband when she goes to work. Like, I don't know, let's see. No, this is too degrading. Better avoid. With this one, I think there might be grounds to sue. Okay, that's readable. Don't forget to pick up the clothes at the cleaners or you'll be the one hung out to dry. That's amore. Mm, I never tasted anything so delicious. When we were kids, Ronald and I played rock stars. Me on the pots, him on the pans. We were such a disaster.
How did this get in here? He was gunned down by a barrage of point-blank peas, and they say vegetables are good for your health. Kaboom cereal, an explosion of energy in your stomach. Literally. Cheers! I found the solution to your problems, mainly because if I waited for him to solve it, I would have died another time first. What am I supposed to do? You just have to open your mouth and say, ah... Uh... Okay. I feel, I feel a great power in my hands. Wait a minute, I have hands! <laughs> Sounds more threatening already, right? Glad to have contributed to making the world a less safe place. How do you feel? Better than ever. I feel like I can break the whole world. <laughs> Just try to take it over, okay? Huh? Unfortunately, it seems we haven't made any progress regarding intelligence. What about the Swiffer? I don't know who this Swiffer is, but I will punch him to death. <laughs> This should be interesting. Now you seem to be covered in muscles and not by dust anymore. <laughs> I'll leave you to your evil plans. In my opinion, you're not so strong after all. What are you talking about? Don't you see I'm a beast? It doesn't seem that way to me. Test me, then. Okay. In the room next door, there's a bed. I bet you won't be able to unscrew one of the knobs. It'll be child's play. Is this the knob? It's not a crystal ball, that's for sure. Uh, I don't get it. Yes, that's the one. It's up to me and you now, knob. My grandpa worked in a factory welding vehicle body parts. I remember that on his deathbed, and completely blind already, he mistook the blowtorch tube for my grandma's arm. May he rest in peace.
Backup is coming. Open your jaws. And no funny business. Uh. It's so liberating. Kind of like when I escaped from prison. I don't know if you're being serious or you're just spectacularly trolling. We'll never find out. See you around. No way, it's closed. You should be able to recognize Nut by now. Took you long enough, hmm? And where did you pop up from? This van is a wreck. I got out through a hole hidden in the floor. Is there a way to get in from under there? Negative, dude. My head may be huge, but nowhere near like yours. How about taking a ride with me? All aboard! I don't see any ostriches in the neighborhood. I have a new appreciation of the quality of life inside the wardrobe. I love these kitschy garden things. In other people's gardens. The supposedly well-guarded local prison never fails to make its citizens feel safe. I should turn it on first.
It's one of the most symbolic objects of video games. I understand you've been dying to do that, but maybe it's better to pick it up first. I wasn't holding my breath on it being open. Oh, you finally did it then. When you use nice manners, you get everything you want, nut. For a moment, I assumed the worst. We need to celebrate. Take this. How the hell often do I have to tell you I'm allergic? It's a damned nut! Do you even have eyes in those sockets? Something stinks here. It wasn't me. I mean, where the hell did those two go? I'll get out. I have to check. Isn't it a bit late? Have you checked the time? Yeah, from that clock, boss. You can relax. I like lunch breaks. Too bad that pendulum has been stuck for years. First, I have to wait until they aren't looking this way. Those two are still not coming. What are they doing now? I'm going back to take a look. He took a really nice flight, no doubt about it. Are you kidding me? That's it. Now we'll do it the hard way. Computer, update. The situation is under control, sir. There are no circumstances that could jeopardize the bystander's safety or the correct operation of home devices. Well done, soldier. At ease. Computer, deactivate. Negative, sir. I can't disregard the duties for which I've been assembled, sir. Are you refusing to execute one of my orders, soldier? I'm sorry, sir. I can't do differently, sir. Computer. Detailed work history. Two years, two months, and 21 days of duty, sir. Nine accidents, 24 household mishaps, five fires prevented, sir. And what about the time you almost killed the cat? You smoked some of the herbs in the living room, didn't you, soldier? I'm embarrassed for what happened, sir. Sorry again, sir. Computer, recall origin of service. I'm here due to a fire caused by the combustion of red-hot oil from a pan with some water. A mammoth blaze indeed, soldier. Four fire trucks, two ambulances, one FBI unit rushed in a matter of ten minutes, sir. And a team of Doctors Without Borders, which, alarmed by the general mayhem, deemed fit to show its support. Computer, dismiss.